night. It is a Friday morning. Um, Sean has left to head back to the Monterey Bay area and I am heading to uh, a section of the East Walker River north of Bishop, California and it's an area I've never been before. Um, I've seen some locations on Google Earth I'd like to check out so um, that's where I'm headed. And that's one thing I should mention is Google Earth for me, or Google Maps in satellite mode, whatever, um, is how I uh, usually find campsites and locations to fish. Um, especially, uh, well, Google, Google Maps and Google Earth both, I guess, are fine. I, I use Google Earth. I just love the way you can zoom in and really look at the, the, the details of an area. And um, that's how I find usually most of my campsites and, and fishing locations is exploring an area, uh, zooming in, looking at the dirt roads, where they lead you to, finding the rivers or the lakes, and following the dirt roads. And you can pretty easily most times find where the campsites are. It's pretty obvious where a pullout is, uh, a large open area at the end of a dirt road or an offshoot of a dirt road. Um, sometimes you can even see a rock firing uh, at the locations um, if they have enough detail. So anyway, that's my tip for the day. Um, we're, we're looking for remote or dispersed campsites. Um, so we'll see uh, where I land today and uh, see if I can give you an update video uh, later on. Okay, so I'm on my way into the east fork of the Walker River and into a pretty little valley here in Nevada. Really pretty in here. The river is pretty high today.
Okay guys, I am on a uh, road leading into the East Walker River. That's definitely four by four only, um, but it has incredible geology. It looks like there's a rock ledge wall to the left of me here. Probably they were mining back in here. This looks like the kind of area you would be definitely doing that kind of activity. Uh, but uh, coming down that uh, first grade was pretty sketchy, but it's really neat back in here. Really cool area. Looks to be remote. It's a Friday, so it's going to be interesting to see if anybody's back here. Um, but what I'm doing is uh, heading in towards the uh, East Walker River here. I passed the main campsite area and uh, I'm now trying another section, uh, hopefully away from more people and pressure on the river and all that. So we'll see where I end up here, but it looks like a pretty cool trail leading into the river. the East Walker River in Nevada. Uh, the first part of the road, the main road to come in was not so bad, but this section offshoot road that I came down was definitely four by four only. And it's one of the reasons I love having my Jeep is to be able to get to locations like this. And I'll do a little walk around showing you the campsite um, because I have a feeling with the little bit of wind we have right now, the audio may not be that good, <coughs> but um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice little campsite with about two spots. Um, Walker River is pretty high flow right now, um, but it's early May, so it's not surprising. Uh, but uh, it's pretty brushy too, not the greatest for fly fishing, but there are spots you can wade into, like this spot right here, a little trail to go in. You can wade in and then you can fly fish up and downstream. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little spot. We'll do a walk around and uh, I have two more nights uh, on my own, and uh, so we'll see how it goes today. Um, and hopefully catch some fish if we're lucky. Well, found a really nice little campsite for really uh, one or two vehicles with some fire rings right next to the East Walker River at the end of this road. Beautiful here.
So yeah, I think I'll give it a, a little bit of uh, fishing. But uh, I got a tip for another place to maybe camp tonight. Although this is excellent. And uh, I have to make a decision on what to do. All right, so it's gonna be my first shot at trying the, uh, the river here. Um, I'm gonna try right where I was standing before and then um, try a little bit downstream. So see how we do today. So just going in with a little caddis fly. It's a bit windy. So not sure how this is gonna go. Definitely brushy too. Just gonna do short cast, really can't back cast here at all. Very cool section. Little horseshoe bend. Much going on tonight. I think I got a small one on here. Nice little brown. Excellent release. All right, guys, it's getting late in the day. Um, show you where I'm at the campsite. Just a quick walk around. It's my Jeep. A little offshoot I came in to park next to the river. And so there's fire ring there. Another fire ring here could be better in terms of the way they're built up, but <clears throat> I'm not going to be having a wood fire tonight. If anything, I might do the propane stove. Well, lizard right there. Um, the campsite has multiple little trails to get down to the river. There's one going off that way, another one going off that way. Once you're down in the river, it's not deep, at least in the spots I've seen so far. And uh, 
So you can wade in if you have waders or it's hot and you just want to walk in with shorts, which is a lot of times what I do. Um, but it's pretty level campsite. You could definitely fit two rigs in here, no problem. Um, and uh, I love it because it's secluded, has limited access. And uh, fishing, actually I did okay. I caught one little uh, 12 inch brown trout and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Might fish even this evening after dinner. But that's the campsite and uh, pretty area. Okay, since I'm by myself tonight, we're just doing some uh, hot dogs with some uh, whole kernel corn and um, put that on some hot dog buns. I have relish, mustard, mayo, ketchup, and um, with the whole kernel corn. That'll be a simple meal for tonight. And then I might even be able to get in some fishing uh, this evening. So, see how it goes. Okay, just wrapping up, uh, plating the meal. Pretty simple, like I said. Um, hot dog and um, whole kernel corn. Got a second hot dog waiting on base. And um, simple, but should be good. Really quiet here tonight. Should be a nice evening. Well, it's a beautiful evening here tonight. Only caught one fish so far, a little 12 inch brown trout, but um, haven't really spent a lot of time fishing either yet. Just got in today. I'll spend some time in the morning fishing and um, part of me wants to go see another spot out here. Um, part of me wants to keep fishing. It's a real, uh, real conundrum right now. I, I really love to explore with this Jeep and uh, on the way in, some people gave me a tip on another campsite they say is really beautiful. It's not on the river, but um, it's supposed to be a real special place. So, I don't know. Um, I might fish till the noon, noon time tomorrow, 1 o'clock, and then head off to the other campsite, um, or at least go check it out. Um, right now, I'm just uh, cozying up next to this Tembo Tusk fire pit. Um, it's working great. I have to say, it does put off a lot of heat. This is really the first time I've used it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it just looks like a beautiful evening tonight. Um, so we'll see what tomorrow brings and uh, hopefully do a little fishing and uh, try to catch some more trout. There are supposed to be both brown and rainbows in this section of the East Walker. So, um, see what tomorrow brings. So. Tonight we'll just hang by the fire and then probably go to bed early. Okay, it is Saturday morning and uh, just got up, made some coffee, 
uh, here with the Brutech. And um, let's see. Start a little fire in the Timbo test for the morning, get warmed up. And that's going to be the view again today. So we'll do some fishing this morning and see how it goes. Decide what I'm going to do next. Another beautiful morning on the river here, Saturday morning. Beautiful day. Incredible country here in Nevada. Well, fishing's a little slow this morning. Man, this is such a cool section of the river here. With the rocks up above, the cliffs. Just beautiful here today. Crystal clear water. At least when it's shallow. It's flowing pretty fast. Just beautiful. Damn it. Probably a snag.
Well, this wraps up my Nevada overlanding trip. Please also check out my other videos, including my three-part series along Highway 395 and also Death Valley. Also, stay tuned for an upcoming video for my last day of this trip, where I ended up in a very cool mining area at an elevation above 8,000 feet. Please like and subscribe as it will really help this channel grow.